What is modulation? Well, I usually tell people modulation is just a fancy word for wiggling. And by that, I mean on a synthesizer or an effect pedal, um, we're basically just taking a control, whether that's a filter amount or a frequency uh, or an amplitude or some other parameter, and we're simply moving it up and down. No different than you would move it by hand, except that we're using something else that goes up and down or up and then stays and comes down. And we're using that to wiggle that same parameter so we don't have to wiggle it with our hand. So for example, if I took an oscillator, which controls pitch or the frequency, and I took an LFO with a shape like this, a triangle, and then I used a mod matrix to take the LFO going to the oscillator and I'm going to control its pitch. So as I turn the depth up, you're going to hear that LFO modulate the frequency. The more I turn it, the more depth you will have and the farther that parameter will wiggle. I also have the ability to change the rate of the modulation so the LFO can speed up. And the important thing to understand with modulation is that synthesizers are designed to be able to take any of their modulators and send them to pretty much any of their parameters and it'll just work that parameter the right way. I could just as easily take that LFO and instead of going to the oscillator, I could go to the filter. And so now I'm gonna have the same effect except the filter is gonna open and close. <laughs> And now everything else is still true. I can speed it up, slow it down. And I can change its modulation depth. I'm gonna to go to an amplifier. And instead of modulating frequency in an oscillator or modulating a filter cutoff, I'm now gonna modulate the amplifier. No modulation, extreme modulation, and then again I can change the rate. But you don't have to use an LFO to modulate. There are plenty of other things, including an envelope, which is often a one-shot thing that does something, does a certain shape, and then ends. And so I can see here, here's my modulation uh, envelope, and it's going up, coming down about two-thirds, and then coming down to zero. So I go to the mod matrix, I have envelope one assigned to oscillator, it's pitch. So now the pitch should do that shape. And the farther I turn it up, the more it's going to change the pitch. And like before, I could send that envelope to something other than oscillator pitch. I can send it to the cutoff frequency of the filter. All I do is just go to filter, I gotta set the cutoff, and the more I turn it up, the more that envelope is going to modulate the filter cutoff. Turn up the resonance a little. And you can modulate positively or you can modulate negatively. So I could turn that upside down and now I'm going to go downward. So you can do things positive, negative, and then the last one we'll do is amplifier. So now I have the envelope set to go to the amplifier level. And if I turn the amplifier level all the way down, you should hear nothing. Yay, it worked. And then as I turn up the depth of that envelope going to the amp, it's going to get louder in the shape of that envelope. And that's pretty much modulation. Uh, the only advanced thing is if you take LFO or one oscillator to modulate another oscillator, but at audio speeds, now we get something called FM, but that's a different definition for another time. And by the way, to see more of these definitions, go to sweetwater.com at our news and research page. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.